striking. <laughs> Carolyn's a very dynamic person. <laughs> She's willing to do things that most people won't do. Amazing. But she's so driven. Well, when you're filled with the love of God, how far do you go? She has a good vision. So you'll just have to zoom in a little tighter, that's all. You don't have to move the camera or do anything. Carolyn anything. has this idea of creative community where you have photographers okay. and video artists and people working in therapy art. All of those lines are completely blurred. You're just talking about art. Yeah, I would say this bottom part's a little brighter. Right she's now. the real deal. With my commitment to bring transformation, the transformation that I had experienced in health and well-being to other people, my natural way of doing that is through art and media. If you were to like look at the projects that I've done in the past 10 years, you would see a lot of different media, you know, installation, public art. With Sight of Stillness, my commitment is to share the experience of meditation in a way that moves, touches, and, ex and inspires people in their own lives around meditation, health, and well-being. Good morning, WRC Pittsburgh 88.3 FM. Joining me this morning, we have Carolyn Speranza. She's working on a project called Sight of Stillness. Carolyn, it'd be nice if you could explain what the Sight of Stillness project is. It's a film and since the film is about the experience of meditation, I have been hosting a series of salons about discussing the experience of meditation and providing meditative experiences for the general public. Tonight, we're hosting an evening focused on meditative music. So I've asked David Pohl, knowing that he creates really beautiful meditative music, to lead the evening. <laughs> We're doing this within the context of having meditative experiences and sharing them. Timelessness. A sense of freedom. Endless expansiveness. Playfulness. A flying sensation. Listening to my own spirit, my own voice. It's amazing connection. Very free and serene. It's like another universe. It's always accessible if we only listen. People tell me their experience of meditation and then I visualize the image that I want to have with this piece of audio. In the salon that I participated in, I spoke of a practice I have of reaching up to the sky at night, and I thought, well, how is this going to reflect what it is I do? My experience in the making of the film was very mechanical. The blue screen's in back of me, and I'm thinking about the moon, but it's not actually there. And She took things that I had only just mentioned in word, and she gave real body to them. That's being an artist. You take these somewhat flat moments in time, and you put them all together in this symphonic way. All these pieces, music and voice and visions, all came together to produce this one holistic piece that was an incredible experience. I, I was blown away. The premiere of the film went fabulously. It's like a couple hundred people. People are doing yoga and, and there's great music. That was a two-day event. My commitment is to reach the general population. One of the reasons I had the symposium at the Carnegie Science Center with doctors, with PhDs, and do research funded by the National Institute of Health are that they can deliver the specific measurable results around the effects of meditation on the body. And they can deliver it in a way that people will hear them. So one answer I'm going to provide is that uh, research on yoga and meditation will provide uh, a validation of its benefits and thereby promote its use by the general public. I think it's, it's a great idea that, that, that Carolyn put this together. I think that it brought the public in. It's not unusual to pick up Newsweek or Time or the New York Times and see articles on spirituality and health. And I just think it's important to help people think critically about, you know, what is the real scientific support for the connection between spirituality and health? Many, many variables, and we can't make the absolute statements that we want to make. We, the patients and the practitioners, we're the ones who say, 
I want to know what to do. What heals people is the relationship between art and nature. Art has the essential healing capacity so that people can get to their very essence. Art is the basis of all joy, I believe. I was struck at how intense an experience the movie really was, and it's really made me feel that I want to begin to meditate. I really didn't expect to be touched so deeply. Watching the piece, it gave me some tranquility. It was spectacular. I really can't wait to just try it, see what happens. Who knows, old doors could open up. All I want to do is make a difference with people. Like if it said on my tombstone, Carolyn, the catalyst, made a difference, I'm happy. Like I, you know, I could pass and pass on to the next existence very happily, if that's what it said on my tombstone. Yeah. <laughs>